March 2018 saw Nathaniel Wood defend his Cage Warriors belt for the last time. Coming live from Indigo at the O2 in London, England, this is Cage Warriors and we have the world watching! Fighting out of London, England, the reigning, defending Cage Warriors, bantamweight champion of the world, Nathaniel, the prospect. My last Cage Warriors fight was one of those where you know, you're kind of guaranteed a contract with the UFC if you get the win. That would be a game changer for me in life, just with the money. There was a lot of pressure on me for that fight. Pressure makes diamonds and I always perform under it. Saw that connect. I was just going to say, you've got to watch the hooks when you get in the pocket. As soon as I saw that shot land and felt it, I knew that I was getting a UFC contract. And still, the Cage Warriors bantamweight champion of the world, Nathaniel, the prospect. There was no time to rest though, as he would make his debut less than three months later at UFC Utica in New York against fighting veteran Johnny Eduardo. Going into that fight, I was nothing but full of confidence. You know, I'm confident from my training, I'm confident with the coaches and the training partners that I've got. Ready to go here with round one from Utica, New York. Johnny Eduardo, healthy and ready to go against a man who ready has so much ready hype fight. in the UK and beyond. Johnny Eduardo was a veteran in the sport. It was a very challenging test for a UFC debut. Oh! Cracking left hook from the Daniel Wood. Now he gets stopped by Eduardo. I remember it being a bit back and forth in the first round. In the second round, I felt like he started to back off a little bit on the striking exchanges. So as soon as he went in for that shot, I used that as a Okay, you know, you don't want to strike with me anymore. He's in position to give up a front choke, maybe a dart. Trying to slide the arm all the way through. He's going hard for the darts. I get it. It's a set and a tap. And one attack. Nathaniel Wood. A winner in his UFC debut tonight. That was a moment that will live for me for the rest of my life. The prospect, Nathaniel Wood. His next fights would be later that year on the undercard of John Jones Plus versus Gustafsson. With that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Far. Oh, oh, he hurt him. Well, he he hurt him. him. Oh, beautiful inside leg kick. Really took his leg out. Good uppercuts and over the top. Daniel keeps landing it, and he's on his back. There he goes. Now he's getting after this. Now he's landing it. The prospect would clean up another victory via a dominant performance against Andre Ewell. There's the tap. So Nathaniel Wood gets the late finish with less than a minute to go. Seven straight wins for the prospect. That was my second UFC fight, second UFC win. That young man's got a tremendous amount of talent. He really just put together an outstanding fight tonight. Wood. Listen, Dana, please. I miss Christmas. Can I have a late present? Put me on that London card, March 16th, I beg of you, please. My London UFC debut was the, for me, it was the main goal. When I first started in this sport, my main aim was to headline an O2 event. That was when I went to watch, uh, it was Jimmy Manoa versus Alexander Gustafsson. I was just a fan at the time. Oh, oh there's a shield, oh, a big lead. Gustafsson. Jimmy's oh, hurt. Jimmy's hurt. Jimmy's hurt. You know, one day I'm going to headline it here, and that's going to be my, uh, main goal, let's say. So I didn't headline, of course, but you know, I was on the main card in my hometown at the O2 Arena. The Londoner, Are you ready? Ready? Wood. Let's go. Jose Quinones from Mexico. It was a lot of pressure. A real, a real As I say, you know, the pressure, I rise to it. It's been oh, Good takedown from Wood, oh. rumbling back to his feet. That's a back. Good, good. Oh, that's entirely good. 
Ocean here. Yeah. And that was probably the best experience of my life. It was one that I'll never forget. He's able to cut his man down, take his back in the scramble. He is most certainly one to look out for, Paul. Uh, I mean, he is impressive. Whether it, was on... it, it is a dream come true, and you know, I know everyone says that on every fight, but this really is, you know, this, this really means so much to me. After three fights, it was time to be tested against one of the bigger names in the bantamweight division. John Dodson in his backyard in New Mexico. So going into the John Dodson fight, for me, I felt great. I had a really good camp. You know, I felt like this was the fight that was gonna put me in that top 10 position. I believed that I was the man to finish John Dodson. He had lost decision, but he had never been finished. And I believed that I was the man to do it. Well, John Dodson certainly has the home fans at his back, but that man, Nathaniel Wood, is the favorite. Wood in the black, Dodson's in the gold. Flurry oh, here, oh, right yeah, hand from nice. Wood. Trip there from Wood, and he gets his fight to the mat. There's no nothing that went on in the fight that made me feel like I was out of my depth. Brilliant forward pressure, you're picking the shots really well. Run that round, 100%. Total strikes, significant strikes, and the only takedown of the fight to the fighter from England, Nathaniel Wood, in that first five minutes. It looks like that cut is in a bad spot on Nathaniel Wood. Doesn't really appear to be affecting him too, too much, but and not enough action going on there. Time! Time! For the referee. Check out that cut. Over here. Take a look at that. It's not. It's not bleeding into his eye. Um, good to go. Okay. You see John Dobson blitzing here as they come together. Watch Wood goes off the fence. Boom. Heads clash. But it is a much worse cut than we thought initially. Yeah, a little bit of swelling. too hasty in the last round and got caught. He's one of the quickest fighters and toughest to hit. I was still in the fight, you know, I, I can promise you that I was still raring to go, but unfortunately the ref had stopped it, you know, a little bit too quick for my liking. But I only have myself to blame. You know, I got caught with that shot and in this sport it's a game of inches. So, you know, John Dodson, of course, it was his night that night. I wish that we got to run it back and Hopefully one day I'll be able to rectify it. So 2020, obviously coming off a loss to John Dodson, we then had COVID hit. It was a bit of a panic situation. No one knew what was going on. We, we wasn't able to train. Luckily I set up a gym in my garden. The UFC done what they do best. And they set up an alternative plan for the fighters. So they created Fight Island. Are you ready? Nathaniel was scheduled to meet Habib's cousin Umar Namagomedov, but due to personal reasons, Umar was replaced by John Castaneda. He wears the white, Nathaniel wears the black. Wood said he got hasty in that fight against Dodson, won't make that same mistake again. Nathaniel would put on a masterclass. Nice. Felt confident in the fight. Inside leg. Just doing that over and over again. A body, a body. He's really snapping these shots. He's feeling comfortable. There you go. Oh, man. So we're going to go to the judges' scorecard. There it is. Being able to get the fight camp done, get the win whilst COVID and lockdown was happening was amazing. Decision, Nathaniel, the perfect one. So of course in my UFC career, the main goal is to collect that UFC gold. You know, I'd like to bring back that UFC belt to London, you know, my hometown.
but my main goal in life is to just be happy. <laughs> just been matched. And this is what I love to do with my life, this is what I have passion for. To me, this isn't work, you know, this is what I enjoy, and this is what I would be doing even if I wasn't getting paid for it. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. My last fight against Casey Kenny was a short notice fight. I took that on three weeks notice. Right, that has jumped off the card for a lot of people. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Nathaniel Wood is in black. Casey Kenny is in white. Oh, an early connection from Wood with that left hand. Man, Wood gets that foot to the target quickly now. And up. Wood has nearly doubled up on the significant strike. Lands here through three minutes. He needs to oh! And Nathaniel Wood showing off the chin too. I mean, this is such a high pace. This Wood has been the slightly busier party. It seems as though Kenny's pace has started to wane yep, a little bit. Yep. Than... But you can tell that he's a little bit less fresh as Nathaniel Wood. Wood's takedown defense has held up thus far. Very evenly matched, these two men. Nathaniel Wood coming up on 300 total strikes thrown. There Not a bad is. shot there. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful time shot by Casey Kenny. It's a distraction. It's a distraction to Kenny to let him know and stay aware that something coming back is with. These dudes are absolute savages. Oh, what a fight, man. Yeah, both of them have left it all out there. What a fight between Casey Kenny and Nathaniel Wood. If we had 20,000 people in here. No, I thought I'd done enough to win. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Casey Kenny! Watching the fight back, I still believe that I had won. But as they say, never leave it to the judges. Coming out of the Casey Kenny fight, unfortunately, I sustained a hand injury. Had to train with one hand for around eight months. Eventually got back to work, had a fight lined up with Jonathan Martinez, which was scheduled to be in Las Vegas. Camp was going great, the hand was absolutely fine, and four weeks out, unfortunately, I then broke the metacarpal bone in the same hand that I'd previously injured. I remember being in tears after I had sustained that injury. I'd been out for so long at this point, all I wanted to do was get back in there and do what I do best. But, you know, life's about lessons and, and we got through it. So the hand now is good, it's strong, I'm back to normal. And uh, come March 19th, you know, I want to um, show people what they've missed. So the call up for this London fight, it was the best news that I possibly could have heard all year. Uh, it was that fight that I can go back to in my hometown, you know, relive that electrifying experience that we had in 2019. I'm excited, you know, I'm just happy to be back on that London card. I'm happy to be back fighting for the UFC. <laughs> Been out for a year and six months working on areas that I lacking in the past. You know, the March 19th, this guy better come ready because I am and I'm going to be bringing everything I've got.